everyone! I This is the most ghetto video I've ever <laughs> rigged up. Um, my light source is like crazy off and it's nighttime out. I had to wait for my husband to leave for work so I didn't like wake him up. And I look crazy. My hair was down earlier and then it just went... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, I filmed this video before uh, with the last video that was uploaded, um, but I YouTube messed up and I was a dummy and deleted it first. I should know better, but I, I didn't. So I'm going to do it again. This is going to be like, I look like a dirt ball. I'm sorry. This is going to be a really short video, hopefully even though I'm already almost to a minute. <laughs> I just grabbed a couple of things from Vera while I ordered offline. I've had the flu and so I was kind of bored. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you real quick some stuff and then I actually have a story behind my order a little bit which didn't happen until after I filmed the last video so I'm kind of glad that it didn't work out but anyways. So my ghetto video. Okay. The first thing I got, which these are new, and Vero Bradley has had like versions of these before, but uh, these are correspondence cards, and they were $8, and there are six in here. They look, there's the lighting so terrible, but you can kind of see. There we go. They're really, really cute, and then the inside of the envelope will look like this. This is in jazzy blue. Um, I just wanted to show these how big they are. They're Probably a little bit, well, they're like invitation size, but they're not little. I didn't think that was a bad price. If you win the contest, then you'll probably get one of these. That's why I bought them. So, and then the rest I'll use for thank you notes or, you know, what, whenever I need them. So I thought those were really cute. I got two fringe scarves. These are 40, or no, they're not that much, $38 a piece. I got one in Jazzy Blooms, and then the other one I bought in a color that I wasn't sure about, which if you watch my videos, you know, but, oh, I can't get them apart. This one is in the Go Wild pattern, and I don't like it on the purses, but I really, really like it in the scarf. So this is what the print looks like. I love leopard and I wear a lot of black and gray so I thought this was nice. The ends are fringed like in the name and you have to be very very careful with these. They're really really thin as you can see. You can't really tell but I can see my hand through it. Um, I snagged the one in Jazzy Blooms with my wedding ring. So you really need to be careful when putting them on with your rings. And I'll probably do it again before this video is over. Um, if you look on Pinterest or on YouTube, on here, on YouTube, um, you can find different ways. I found it on Pinterest, but you can find different ways to tie your scarf. Like there's a really cute way to like braid it and knot it and um, wear it different ways so it'll look like real different. But I like wearing them, well, as infinity scarves, so it'll, you know what I mean, probably an infinity scarf. They'll look like this, which I know I got a fringe scarf, so I really don't need to do this. It kind of hides the fringe. Wow. Let me try to get this. Maybe not. Okay, there, kind of. You, you've seen probably Infinity Scarf, so. And then I'll just tuck the ends under so that it'll stay like in a Infinity type scarf. So that's that one. And then I got the other, like I said, in Jazzy Blooms. I love this one. You could literally, for like summer and even spring, looks like this. And these are really wide. I mean, I can't. <laughs> Even back up enough to show you how wide they are but so it's really nice you can double them over or triple them over and you know just <laughs> it's like the old um, 
what were they like airplane pilot scarves or flight attendant scarves but yeah Vera Bradley doesn't make infinity scarves and they're my favorite so I make my own but isn't it pretty so and that's a fringe scarf too they sell another one it's not fringed at the end I don't remember but I liked I know I liked these better for some reason I think because they're thinner and then last but not least but kind of is least I got they were having a thing where you buy I think you spend $50 and you get your choice of a brush and pencil case or a medium cosmetic bag and there was something else I don't remember you got it 50% off and I really need a brush and pencil bag because, um, you know, when I'm looking for a pen in my purse, I can never find it. So I'm putting pens and that kind of stuff, highlighters or whatever, in here. And um, this was $26 originally, and then I got 50% off. So it looks like this. It's really big. This is what the front looks like. This is in Jazzy Blooms. And then the back looks like this. I'm not real happy about the pattern placement since someone definitely told me to look at that when purchasing but since I bought online I obviously couldn't because there's two right here and then two right here but whatever that's okay the problem well I'll say this has line too so if you put makeup or uh, makeup brushes or anything in there or pens and they um, leak or brush up against it or whatever your bag's not ruined Okay, the problem I had with this, when I opened the box, I smelled something really, really strange. It almost smelled like a natural gas leak. And we have gas in our house, so I was thinking, oh no, we have a gas leak. Why am I just now smelling this? And I started to kind of panic. But then I was like smelling the scarves, and they kind of smelled like it, but not, you know, real bad. And then I smelled my brush and pencil case. I about seriously passed out. It stunk so bad. And in my last video that, well, the video that I made of this that didn't get uploaded, <laughs> I, I kept smelling it and I'm like, oh, this stinks really bad. And I had mentioned uh, that I was going to contact Vera Bradley maybe and tell them just so they would know for future, because I checked, it wasn't the box that smelled, it's literally this. And this case was making my scarf smell. And I'm thinking, I don't want my purse to smell like this. This is disgusting. It smells so bad and it's that strong, like I can still smell it. So I sat here and I'm like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll email them. They have a customer service email listed on their website and I emailed and I would say probably like three to five minutes later I got an email back. Um, they apologized. I had told them that it was just my brush and pencil case that my scarves weren't making it smell. They didn't really smell as bad. The box didn't make it smell. It was definitely my brush and pencil case only. So they apologized like I said and they sent me an online gift certificate that never expires and it's for the amount of my brush and pencil case so I was really thankful that they did that I don't like to complain about things um, it it just really really smelled and I've had it I sprayed it with Febreze and I've washed it well first I washed it it still smelled I sprayed it with Febreze I took it upstairs and put it in my like craft room and that was probably three days ago, three or four days ago, and it still stinks. It's not going away at all, so I'm going to have to buy a new one or try washing it. I might wash it another time or maybe even two more times to see if it comes out. Maybe if I put, like, scented, those scented um, little beads that go in your washer, I might try that. But, ugh. It's terrible. It really just smells like natural gas. I don't know if it's because of the factory it came from. They're made in China. Maybe there was like a gas leak at the factory or in the truck you're delivering. I don't know, but it stinks so bad. And 
like just having it here I'm gonna have to go wash my hands and <laughs> stuff it just stinks but I wanted to show you before I bought a new one or you know washed it so if you ever have a problem with Vera Bradley stuff don't be afraid to email them or contact them in any way they're awesome um, like I said she but that's it that's all I got from Vera Bradley and I just wanted to show you the fringe scarves they're really beautiful and I'm so glad that I got them because you can wear them with like I wear those um, airy t-shirts a lot with tank tops underneath of them in the summer because they're really really thin they're actually see-through and they come in like a thousand colors and I have probably six of them <laughs> And I, they're plain, they're not like printed or anything. So I like buying things to wear with them. So that's definitely what I'm going to do. And that's it. So I am going to be uploading a video next after this one. I'm going to film it right after this um, about the books I'm reading. So if you are um, into books or looking for something to read, Check that out. So I hope everyone is having a good day and it's Sunday. So hopefully I hope you guys have a good work week because I probably won't be posting anything this week. So take care and good luck in the contest if you're participating. And if you haven't participated yet, there's still time until February 10th to, um, you know, put your contest entry down. So if you are interested in that, it's a couple videos below this one. So take care everyone and bye.